mean, this is not helping my arcade addiction. My quest for the Donkey Kong arcade cabinet that's been seemingly going on for maybe about 15 years now, this is not helping that at all. <laughs> Here at Tilt Arcade in London, Ontario, my good buddies Will, John Abor. This is like, what I was just saying is like, old man out. We've got some really good classics here. But back in the days, you know, high scores, really important. Three initials, we got Missile Command, Ms. Pac-Man, very big classic, Centipede, yeah. The old Dusties. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've got some booths. You got some sit-down booth games, multi-platform games. This one looks like we just got uh, Galaga and Ms. Pac-Man. Again, Ms. Pac-Man's classic. I honestly haven't spent a lot of time in this spot because the real stuff we're getting into the good stuff. Yeah. This is really old school. There's a marble and you have to make it from the bottom to the top. And it looks so simple, but me and the missus spent like an hour. It was very intense. Intense gameplay. Yeah, it's an old yeah. title game. Sick. Man. Simpsons, another arcade classic, multiplayer. And then this is this is my childhood in the 90s right here. Mortal Kombat 2. Fantastic game. I remember last that. time I was here, you put my foot on it. <laughs> Taxi was actually programmed by Ed Boon from Mortal Kombat thing. Actually, if you want to come over here and get a close up, Python Argentalo software by Ed Boon. Wow. That's so cool. Ed like, just look at the bar. The beautiful Mario artwork. Right down below, we have NES cards. How cool is that? All your favorites are here. Tilt is fantastic. You pay once, you get in, and you play as much as you want for like, I usually stay with clothes. Dude, we, we have to play Street Fighter. We have to play MK. We have to show off our godlike fighting game skills. Right, Johnny? Please hype it up further so I can disappoint everyone more. In any case, Tilt, $7 all day play. Enjoy the festivities, the food, the drink, and much, much more. Home field advantage. It is. Okay, who's in here? I am. Oh, we get tripped though. We don't panic, but if we're gonna lose, don't lose when you're panicking.
Joe Hackman. I'm a floor manager supervisor. Every day is different, but it's the same at the same time. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a good job. It's fun. I've been here since day one. I actually met the owner through uh, a video game deal, and I peeked in and I said, what, what is this place? And he told me about it, and I said, I want to be a part of it. I wasn't even looking for a job. They're pretty blown away. Uh, like you said, you don't see this place very often. Not just that, like our food's good. Friendly atmosphere. We have a lot of fun here. Well, it'd probably be this one here, Championship Sprint. I've been playing this game since I was about three or five years old. I got the top two scores on it right now, and I don't think anybody's ever going to beat it. If you haven't been here, especially from London, Ontario, come on down. If, you're, if you live far away, it's worth the trip. Hulk Smash! My name is Dustin Adrian. I came here for the first time, I think, a couple years ago. Uh, I thought it was like heaven. It was amazing. Just hearing all the uh, arcade cabinets, just the ambiance, the lights and everything. It was amazing. Took me right back. I come here a lot, yeah. Um, I've racked up some bills coming here, but mostly for the food. Oh yeah, you're missing a lot. Like, you just have to look around here. Look at all the great, amazing artwork. Like, look at the artwork on the cabinets. Just being around other people, actually physically, you can feel the excitement of people playing. Of people playing and interacting with each other. I got a couple high scores, but then I, you know, I don't want to talk about it. I'm humble. Uh, you know what? I'd probably take Terminator 2. I love that game. This is pretty crazy. Like this is like a total trip right back to the 80s slash early 90s. Uh, you know, you just you don't you just don't see stuff like this anymore. It's like insane. Revolution X, London, Ontario's got it going on. I am the God of War. First time I walked through these doors, after I saw their fantastic bar, I saw this huge lineup of pinball machines at the back, and it blew my mind. I was so excited. It's such a great place to be. Good times with friends, competing for high scores, friendly competition, that's what's missing. There's nothing like, you know, you know, politely rubbing it right in their face that you're better than them at whatever game you're playing. It's usually not me. <laughs> this one. This one's coming home with me. I mean, this is not helping my arcade addiction. My quest for the Donkey Kong arcade cabinet that's been seemingly going on for maybe about 15 years now, this is not helping that at all. <laughs> Here we go! No, oh, Gene! Come on, Gene, be good. No! <laughs> No, well, you're not so good at that. No, no, pinball, I'm no pinball wizard. All right, we're gonna check out some of my favorite games up here. It's just crazy. So we have like a couple of arcade one-ups in our collections. So we have Dig Dug and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna knock those at all. But man, there's something about like a full-size arcade cabinet. Like this is just crazy. Punch out, we got punch out here. But what I want you to get here, Will, is this beautiful artwork. Look at all these arcade advertisements. So these were the actual one sheets from back in the day. Like a beautiful stuff. Donkey Kong 3, like this is so cool. You 
gotta have Double Dragon. You gotta get 50,000 on Double Dragon. You got Tron. Uh, one day, one day. Narc. I still think that I would do Donkey Kong if I could pick just one, but that Narc, this is pretty sweet, man. That's so good. Baby Pac-Man? It's like a pinball game. That's so cool. Blades of Steel. We got a Neo Geo cabinet with a bunch of different games on it. There's Terry. And of course, right here. This is probably the most impressive to me. I just think this whole arcade cabinet, there's something about this marquee. It's just my absolute favorite. It's so good. It's so good. Like the artwork on the sides. Battle of the Titans. Just start the damn game? <laughs> I'm running out of videotape! Taylor. First time walking through these doors and it's surreal, you know? It, uh, it brought back this feeling I hadn't felt in a long time. Coming into this, I was kind of like, why the hell wasn't I here sooner, you know? You can always get that couch co-op feeling here until... Alright Taylor, so if you could take any arcade game home with you right now that's in this building, what would you pick? Probably some of the old Bubbles machine here. <laughs> it's my, my favorite cleanup game, you know? Clean up the sink. You can find me on Wednesdays and Saturday nights on twitch.tv slash the John of War. Raw games. Raw games preferably because we stream Tuesdays 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do a little bit of everything, but mainly co-op games, and we rage against each other. Yeah, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash willyrow. Every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. You also find me on Jay's channel every Sunday at uh, 10 p.m. 10 a.m.? I don't know what time is anymore. <laughs>